This is a podcast from bbclearningenglish.com. For more information, visit our website. Frankenstein. Episode 1. Scientist Victor Frankenstein is rescued in the Arctic. Hello. I'm Victor Frankenstein. I'm a scientist from Switzerland. You might ask how I arrived here in the Arctic Circle. Yes, it's far from home. I came this far up on the ice. But it's very cold, and I almost died. I, w- I was rescued by an explorer's boat. Captain Walton is a kind man, but he's... He's ready to do anything to push the limits of science. He's a fool. And so are you if you try to fight nature. (coughs) Pardon me, I'm sick. It's freezing here. But I had to come and find the monster I've created. Did I ever think I would feel this way about a creature I gave life to? No, I did not. Never. (laughs) I created life, and all my creature has ever caused is death. How did I give life to the creature? My love of science started early. I remember one morning when I was on holiday in France with my father. Look, Dad, look! Reading a book? That's good, my boy. It's been raining for hours. Staying indoors isn't good for a 13-year-old, but it's lucky you found an interesting book here at the hotel. Yes, I'm not bored anymore. Actually, I've never read anything so good. This book is fantastic. What's it about? Let me see. Cornelius Agrippa? Oh, my dear Victor, don't waste your time with this book. It's full of foolish ideas. Find another one. I had in my hands a book by an alchemist who lived in the 1500s. My father didn't explain to me that Agrippa's ideas were old and had no place in modern science. So I went on to read books by other alchemists. I thought about the power of magic all the time. I wanted to find the elixir of life. Could I ever end diseases and control death? These were my thoughts when I went to the University of Ingolstadt in Germany. But when I arrived there, I didn't expect my professors to laugh at me. Have you really wasted your time studying these foolish ideas, young Frankenstein? Good God. But, Professor Kremper, I... uh, Has nobody ever told you these ideas are old and silly? Well, no. It's never been explained to me why. I... I... All is not lost, my dear sir. You must start again and study real science. I didn't like Professor Kremper at all. And modern science wasn't as exciting to me as the science of the old alchemists. Those men wanted to discover things about power and how to live forever. Perhaps their ideas didn't work, but they were fantastic. I was disappointed, but not for long. 
What got me excited again was one particular class. Professor Waldman didn't laugh at the old alchemists I loved so much. I felt he understood me. Later, I paid him a visit. He opened my eyes to other subjects. I remember his words well. If your wish is to become a real man of science, you must study everything, including chemistry and mathematics. I built my own laboratory in the room at the top of my house, and I studied hard. At the end of two years, I even made some discoveries in chemistry. The other professors at the university were pleased. My father wrote me letters. He sent news about my young brothers and my childhood love, Elizabeth. But I didn't give them much thought. I started to study anatomy, and all I could think about was creating life. And I succeeded! Unfortunately, and I'll tell you about how I gave life to the creature next time. <laughs>